it it looks to be the same fit and finish as the uh It, it looks to be the same fit and finish as the uh, as the oxygen helmet. It actually has a very oxygen look to it with the exception of the front piece here. Um, we're gonna look at this. This is actually a modular helmet. So if you think back to the days of the of the modular one, two, and three that Skeeti used to have, this is going back to that heritage. So if you like to stop on the trail, have lots of breaks, talk to your friends and have lots of laughs, uh, have a cigarette, cigar, or a glass of water, or drink of water on the trail, uh, this helmet's for you. A um, lot better quality and finish than what the older modulars had, as, uh, I think, where there was a lot of air leakage opportunity on their older helmets. You don't see that on here. This is all rubber lined in here. We have really heavy duty set pins, as you can see here. And one of my favorite parts of this helmet is this chin skirt and it opens up so it's easier to put on your head plus it has an integrated magnet which will just find its own home and land in the same spot every time and if you look at this part it actually has three magnets in it so when you close it down it completely seals that neck curtain up to from getting snow snow dust or anything like that in it i think that's a really clever design on skidoo's part and it uh, it works really well some of the helmets that you see coming out this year that are trying to take the industry by storm do not have the chin curtain at all. And the other thing they're lacking is this sun visor. And the nice thing about this sun visor, doesn't matter if you're talking about oxygen or, or any of the BRP helmets, they can be closed down no matter what position you've got the front visor in. So that visor works, the sunglasses work, whether, you know, you're closed like this or you, you open it up on the trail where the mission helmet if you leave this the sun visor down and open it up you risk breaking the cables inside so i'm not sure what magic skidoo has with this helmet uh, with any of their helmets but their sun shields work whether you've got the the top open or not uh, you'll notice here there's actually a rubber mask that's fully adjustable so if you wanted to adjust it to to fit your nose better, or you can completely remove it if you don't like anything touching your face, um, especially if you're plugging it in. I think this is a helmet that, again, I've never worn it, so I'm just I'm just guessing here about um, how this would work. But I think if you didn't want to plug the helmet in, you could just uh, keep that rubber nose guard on. If you want to ride it like an oxygen where you have it plugged in full time, I imagine you can take that that rubber piece out with no issues. So we have the integrated tail light here, which we talked about last week on the podcast and uh, the importance of the safety feature of it. And the nice thing about this is the E-Link that uh, BRP has, the patented E-Link. So you don't even have to worry about plugging the cord in. You get that magnet close enough, it snaps into place. And if you accidentally forget to unplug it and walk off your sled, it just easily uh, releases without yanking you uh, across the parking lot like a dog on a on a chain. This is a, a fake clip here that actually they put in, and this is where the little new Vibe Com goes. It's a very compact unit. We, we can actually get one out and to show that, but the uh, this is where your Vibe communicator would actually snap into, and then your ear pieces would install inside. If you're familiar with Oxygen, you're totally familiar with the the sound deadening system in here. It, I love how it's got the, the eyeglasses uh, channel for if you're wearing glasses like I do and the uh, the sound speakers the pads where you can insert your speakers as well as noise deadening if you don't if comms aren't your thing and you just want to buy the helmet they sell it without the comm and uh, you can remove these noise pads if you want you know a little bit louder if, let's say you can't hear your friends if you're talking them on the trail um, or you can put them in if you want complete sound deadening you can see here the inside one thing I noticed last year with the mission when I actually had that mission at home to look at is how poorly designed the inside was. When you compare it to something like this, like look at the finishes in here. It's like a, 
it's it's like a Cadillac. It's a high-end sports car. You know what I mean? Uh, M Forge construction. So that's the type of plastic they use and the insulation. So it's it's actually a very lightweight helmet. Um, not sure if it's available in carbon, but I don't really see a need that you 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 need to have a carbon model of this. You know, from from my overall reaction to this, my first thoughts were. I'll stick with my oxygen, but after seeing this, I can see a lot of advantages. I know why it's so popular. I think John Luke said he sold a pile of them when they first launched in the spring. And uh, I can believe that at the open house this weekend, they're gonna be flying off the shelf. It's a Senna system, uh, Harman Kardon sound. And I just wanna show you how compact this is. Uh, you've got uh, the vibe unit that actually slides up into the side of the helmet, like I showed earlier. And it actually has the the ear pads, the the mouth microphone, and everything connected to it, so that would snap into the helmet, and uh, and that would clip up inside. And you can see here the the uh, shows it installed. And uh, if we ever get one in our in our hands, we'll actually show you how to install that. But it's actually fairly easy to do. But very very simple. You know, includes the charger cable, the rechargeable battery. This will power and charge off the E-Link. So if you're if you have your E-Link plugged in to run your tail light, that your uh, your Senna won't go dead. Really nice helmet. I'm gonna fire this one on just to show you how easy it is to put on and off. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna open the chin skirt up. I'll take my glasses off, and uh, it pops on like so. With the, with the ear pads, you actually have to kind of do a little wiggle to make sure your ears aren't pulled it up. And then it's got the ratchet chin strap, just like the, uh, just like the oxygen. And it goes like that. And then to release it, there's a little tab. I can't find the tab. It's been too long. I've been off the sled too long, but it's that simple to, uh, to release it. And then you can do up your, just like that. So the glass visor doesn't operate independently from the chin piece, which I think is a good thing because you don't, the more seams you have in a helmet, the more chance there is to have air leakage, you know, coming through. So in this case here, I think it's completely sealed and it'll keep the, the, uh, the air from coming in like the old modular teeth have. If you have any questions, just by all means, let me know, but make sure you come in on Saturday and get one of these things while they're still in stock. But uh, that's the Advex helmet. Stay tuned. We got more stuff uh, up our sleeve this afternoon at Energy Power Sports.